This morning we bring you a remarkable story of hope and perseverance. Antonio Davis was shot 24 years ago in one of Chicago's roughest neighborhoods. It nearly killed him. Davis overcame his damaging injuries to become a successful painter. He also found love along the way. DeMarco Morgan spoke with him about that journey. DeMarco, good morning. Good morning. Antonio Davis told us his life was headed in the wrong direction when he was shot at close range back in 1994. What he did know was that his life was about to take an extraordinary turn with purpose. I'm just creating. I'm just freeing my mind. And um, what comes out is uh, my true emotions. Through his oil paintings, Antonio Davis brings to life his burning desire to create. It's a passion. It's an obsession. I love it that much. And I hope it shows in the work. His work that includes landscapes, still lifes, and portraits. But the picture comes from a different perspective. The 43-year-old paints with his mouth. When Davis was 19 years old, his friend shot him during a fight. He was left paralyzed from his chest down. And when you learned that you were paralyzed, did you think life was over for you? At least the way that you had lived it? Absolutely. I didn't know anything about people in wheelchairs. I didn't have a comprehension of the physical requirements of the daily living with somebody with that quality of life. So the teenager was placed in a nursing home to learn how to adjust to his new wheelchair-bound life. It was there that he met Juanita Butler. I noticed him and I said, oh my God, you're so gorgeous. What are you doing here? And he says, I live here. Oh, so she came on to you. Yeah, she, she was did. aggressive. Yeah, yes, very aggressive, very aggressive. And she's like, I'm gonna get you out of here. She did get him out of there and a year later, they got married. I made the best choice in the world when I said, I'm getting you out of this nursing home. I found somebody who's so special who's like a diamond in a rough, and now he's shining. Shining through his art, something he's always loved, but only pursued after the incident. I tried art with my hands, using different devices. And how did that work for you? For me, it worked fine. I thought that I was doing well, but for others, it didn't. An occupational therapist suggested he try with his mouth, so after some convincing, he did. 15 years later, his paintings are recognized worldwide and range in price from five to more than $80,000. Most don't believe it because the level that I have gotten to in my artistry is where they say, you didn't paint that with your mouth. Davis presented a portrait of former President Barack Obama to the man himself. What did he think of the picture that you did for him? Oh, he loved it. The, the, the first response was, uh, I, I love that you didn't put the gray hair in there. So <laughs> he was humorous. Hey, what's up, y'all? Hey there, how you doing? The artist also gives back. He volunteers his time to teach and inspire art students on Chicago's South Side at Richard J. Daly Community College. And I feel like me going out, mouth painting, showing the public, the community, that you can have a tragic accident. It looks good. Or any tragedy that happened to you, and you still can be able to accomplish things. Have you ever asked the question, why me? No. I always dared myself to do better. Just do better. That's it. Have you forgiven the man who shot you? Your friend? Absolutely. I have forgave him. I have forgave the spirit behind it. So his own spirit within could inspire those around him. You just I, do what you do. I just do what I do. I just get up and do what I do. Win the day, win the week, win the month, win the year, win your life. Wow, and he certainly has. Antonio Toto said the shooting was a blessing in disguise. Had he not been in the nursing home, he may not have ever met his wife Juanita. And if he wasn't paralyzed, he may have never pursued his passion for art. And you know, guys, this was a life-changing story for me because it really proves that no matter the setbacks that come in your life, you can still win and win big. It's this guy found love, and he's doing what he always wanted to do. What was she doing in the nursing home? Did she work there? She had a relative there. Okay. So, uh, That's an unbelievable sort of story, DeMarco. That's one of the most beautiful stories I've ever seen told on this show. And, 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 and we, we use the phrase, and in the piece, the phrase, wheelchair-bound. But that looks like freedom to me. That looks like creativity. It looks oh, like you something higher. Well, you know what? It, it, it also proves that happiness and peace is what matters at the end of the day. So true. And the power of 
people believing in you and you believing in yourself. Yeah. Marco, thank you. Thank you.